Hey guys, what's up? It's Russell here at House Hollywood Reviews. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, that little bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. You guys will get notified anytime I drop a new movie review, trailer review, anything new you guys will get notified. So go ahead and do that. Also stick around for after the video to like and comment. Um, today, I'm going to have a special guest on the show, uh, my buddy Mike from Married Movie Reviews. Um, we took a poll for the new Avengers Infinity War where we took each phase of the Marvel movies and we put it out to a vote to see what movie you wanted us to review out of those phases. Um, phase two was between Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World, Captain America Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers Age of Ultron, and Ant-Man. And the winner by pretty much a landslide was Captain America Winter Soldier. So I had Mike come on the show to talk all things Winter Soldier. So let's go ahead and get right into that. What's up, guys? It's Russell here at House Hollywood Reviews. Uh, today, it's actually a special uh, uh, collab day because my buddy from Mar Married Movie Reviews, Mike, is in the house here to talk Captain America Winter Soldier. Um, on Twitter, we had a uh, Phase 2 Marvel uh, poll up, and everybody chose uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. It was by a landslide, pretty much. <laughs> and leading up to Infinity War, we decided that we would go ahead and do a collaboration on it and talk all things Captain America Winter Soldier. So, Mike, uh, welcome aboard. Hey Russell, thanks for having me. I'm happy to talk about Captain America Winter Soldier with you leading up to Avengers Infinity War. You can check out my channel, it's Married Movie Reviews on YouTube. Me and my wife do movie reviews and trailer breakdowns. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to talk about Captain America. Uh, just before that, uh, go ahead and subscribe to him. Mike's a really good guy. Him and his wife do really good work there on his channel. So you, you guys absolutely have to check him out. I'll leave all of his information down there in the box. All right, so let's go ahead and talk Captain America Winter Soldier. Uh, pretty much what we gather from this movie, it's two years after the big New York City battle uh, from the Avengers. Uh, so 2014, we see Steve Rogers working in uh, D.C. for S.H.I.E.L.D. And Rogers and Black Widow are sent with S.H.I.E.L.D. to uh, a counterterrorism strike aboard a, uh, I believe it's aboard a S.H.I.E.L.D. vessel. Uh, what is your, uh, what, uh, go ahead and uh, talk about, what, uh, what do you like about the beginning of this film? The beginning of the movie, I, I love how it, you know, the, the very beginning, it's just, it's fun seeing, you know, I, I think it starts off with Captain America and Anthony Mackie, the Falcons character running, and then he's called into action, and they, have, like you said, they have to go investigate this vessel. I loved that scene, how, you know, Captain America jumps out of the, that ship without a parachute, it's just cool to see, and then they, how they infiltrate the vessel, it's, it's very... It kind of plays out kind of like a, a spy type of movie, kind of like a, 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 like yeah, just a spy movie. That's really the best way I can describe it. For sure, it feels like a like a 1970s James Bond type film with like all the espionage yeah. and different types of things. It's a different MCU taste, mm -hmm. and I think that's what the uh, Russo brothers were trying to do with this one, and it really does uh, pay off. Um, but let's talk about Falcon. We have Anthony Mackie mm. coming aboard for the first time. We see him uh, coming in as Falcon. Um, what are your thoughts about him joining the MCU in this movie? I thought he fit right in. I love how I love the banter between him and Captain America. It's it's really fun at first, and then they get a little bit more serious. But you know, he really looks up to Captain America, and I I, I would love to just hang out with you know Anthony Mackie and Chris Evans just off off camera just to hang out and see what it, what their relationship is like because they just it just comes through the screen as they're just like best friends right away and you know falcon as an addition to this to this universe i thought he was a great addition uh he's such a cool superhero and yeah he's he's cool for sure yeah, I, I agree. I'm a big fan of Falcon. Um, and again, how uh, how we had talked about this before, I get kind of the Iron Man War Machine type vibe with these guys. They are playful friends, mm -hmm. but they both um, they both respect one another. And I think that's that whole banter and playful banter with one another. I think that really makes the characters more relatable. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what Captain America and Falcon have is because of that. Just like that opening scene with like what on your left, on your left, <laughs> yep. or whatever is at the beginning. I, I just it, it, it's just so much fun, and you can tell that these guys really embrace the role in their characters, and I think that's why we, as the audience, really just uh, gravitate towards these guys because they they legit look like they're having a fun time on the screen. 
Oh yeah, for sure. And and the fact that like you know Captain America's original best friend was Bucky, and you know he's kind of moved on from that, even though he kind of lost him in the war, and it's kind of like a an empty place in his heart, you know. And Falcon just kind of fills it up. <laughs> uh, speak, speaking of his uh, friend, we were finally introduced to the Winter Soldier. Um, I really mm -hmm. thought that this really uh, was a step in the right direction. We you follow Loki as a villain uh let's go ahead and throw it forward to the winter soldier i think the winter soldier's uh role in this film is just so important because this is uh, a friend of of you know captain america and uh it's just it's 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 the first time that we actually see like best friends or whatever kind of pitted against one another here yeah you 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 really feel sorry for bucky barnes when you find out what's really going on because he's, he's being brainwashed by hydra and you know, you, you feel the weight of that. But, yeah, Bucky Barnes as the Winter Soldier, he was a very grounded villain, and I thought it was really great to see that. He was kind of like the evil version of Captain America, and they were just so evenly matched. It was, it was great to see. For sure, because anything, it's like anything you can do, I can do better. It's like these guys can just do pretty much the same thing, and that's why it works on the screen, because they're so yin and yang of each other. They're so, you know, up and down from one another. They both, you know, combat each other so well, and I think that's why uh, the Winter Soldier makes such a good villain in Captain America Winter Soldier, I think. Yeah, and Sebastian Stan did a great job playing that role, for sure. Absolutely. Um, and what do you think about Robert Redford added into the mix of all this? I thought it was a great idea. I think he was a good villain, for sure. Because uh, he's, he's not really like the guy who's throwing the punches. He is the main villain of the movie. The Winter Soldier is more of the, the physical adversary. But, you know, uh, Robert Redford's character, Director Pierce... Uh, he's just the mastermind behind everything and it was it was cool to see again It kind of plays out like like you said like a James Bond movie where you know You got the evil villain like petting a cat in his chair just pulling all the strings. It was I thought it was really Smart for them to go that route And for sure and it's and it's nice to see Robert Redford up in his age is still kind of get you know peppered into the MCU kind of how they did with uh, Michael Douglas and Ant-Man. It's nice to see these actors uh, that were so important in Hollywood uh, in the previous years uh, come back into reprise a little bit of a role, just to, that little glimmer of what, you know, of, of their kind of an ode to their um, Hollywood career. So it was nice mm -hmm. to see Robert Redford kind of just appear in the uh, MCU for sure. Oh, for sure, yeah. So what did you think of the mid credit scenes? We have the mid credit scenes there at the, uh, the end of the movie, um, basically where the Age of Miracles has begun, and we see these <laughs> two, two, sub, two subjects in a... Uh, Almost not like a clear prison cell, I think it is, or something like that, near the end of the film. Yeah, you got, uh, you got Quicksilver and uh, uh, Scarlet Witch. They're kind of test subjects from Hydra, and uh, they're, they're using, I think it's Loki's staff, which eventually we find out has the Mind Stone in it. I thought that was a really great um, a hint toward what's going to happen in the next movie, which would be Avengers Age of Ultron. And I, I thought that was a great tease. And, you know, I loved it. Yeah, I did too. And it was kind of nice that, well, obviously they didn't call it by name because of the mutants being X-Men property. <laughs> and you're not going to hear anything about yep. that because of all that fun stuff because of Fox and all that. <laughs> but it was nice to bring these two characters in that would end up serving a role as side characters in the Age of Ultron. Um, Let's go ahead and jump into the post credit scene, then. We have Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes uh, going to the memorial at Smithsonian. Um, what do you think about the ending of the way they left this movie? I, I really dug that, uh, that scene because it was like, you know, Bucky's coming back. His, his brainwashing is like kind of melting away and he's becoming more Bucky Barnes again. And I thought that was a really great addition. I do have to say... The, the scene bef like near to the beginning of the movie where they're in the museum, you know, where Captain America's in the museum looking at all the stuff, I thought it was a bit cheesy. It was very heavy with the... Uh, it was just too much storytelling in that narration of like how you would see in a museum. I just thought it was too much of it. It was too heavy-handed. But I do really like that 
scene in the I do too credits. because it's almost it's almost kind of a nod saying that you know this is who you used to be and it's kind of mm-hmm. like can you can you get to that level again it's yeah. almost wanting and I kind of compare it to a- uh, Anakin in episode three just because you know there's still good in him and you want yeah. to be you want that good to be in and 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 over you know overcome the uh, evil uh, and, and just you know be back with Captain America and be friends and all that stuff again. But overall, uh, I just, I enjoyed this film. This was a really important film in the Captain America series, just because to me, I wasn't a big fan of the first Avenger. Uh, I just, to me, it was just, I didn't like Red Skull. I just thought the villain was kind of cheesy. I thought the story was slow paced. I just, to me, it didn't work for me. Um, and then the Russo brothers, pepper in a little bit of special sauce and bam. I mean, the, the Russo brothers can't do anything wrong. It seems like. Yeah, they they definitely came in with their A game on this movie. And like you said, Captain America the First Avenger just... When I first saw it, I just kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. I wasn't really excited for the Captain America character in Avengers just because of how cheesy it played out, especially, like you said, with the Red Skull. He's definitely not one of my favorite villains. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's nothing to take away from from the MCU movies. I mean, because I, to me, I think that's the bottom tier type uh, films when you have like Captain America, and when you can say Captain America: The First Avenger is a bottom tier movie, that's pretty. That's still pretty good because other oh, people yeah. would kill to have movies like that are mediocre. <laughs> uh, you know, what I mean, still m- mediocre, but still like, r- you know, uh, a lot of people still loving and, and 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 really a big cult following with the First Avenger because I know a lot of people mm. really like this movie, and I'm kind of on the outside on on the First Avenger. <laughs> but Captain America Winter Soldier overall, man, what did you give this film? I gave Captain America the Winter Soldier an A+. Uh, it is arguably one of the best movies in the MCU that we have so far. Uh, simply because they, they took Captain America into a slightly different genre, like we said, the spy genre, and just made it so cool and they changed several things. It really does have big impacts on the MCU as a whole because of the reveal that S.H.I.E.L.D. was actually HYDRA undercover and there's a lot of big things that happen in this movie and it's a really grounded film with realistic things happening in it. Absolutely, and it's one of those big spider webs that really bring everything in the MCU together, how you said, with S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA being connected Mm -hmm. somehow. And that really turns the wheels moving forward as we see later on down the line for the MCU universe. Um, To me, I gave this movie a 5 out of 5. I enjoyed the film. Uh, To me, this is what the first Captain America should have been. Um, I know we needed an origin story to get, you know what I mean, but we could have easily done a little, you know, sidebar, maybe 10, 15 minutes in the beginning. Oh, this is how Captain America, boom, 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 boom. Um, (laughs) But to me, the Russo brothers really brought their A game, how you said. Uh, The action in this movie is just top notch. You're never, never not, you know, engulfed with action. And it doesn't oversaturate like the Avengers. This movie actually paces out right. You have some action. You have some espionage. And you're constantly (laughs) on the edge of your seat wondering what the heck's going to happen. I think that's why this movie is so successful. Oh, yeah, for sure. Espionage is a great word (laughs) for this movie. It is. Espionage. It's just, it's a fun word. (laughs) Um, So, yeah, that's, you know, is there anything else you want to add to this movie? No, I think, I think we pretty much said everything. It's a great movie. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you, you heard it from Mike. Mike from Married Movie Reviews. Uh, you know, I appreciate you coming on the show. Um, I'm glad to get this collaboration done with you. And, you know, I know there's going to be a lot of collaborations in the future for us. But you guys spoke. You guys want to hear our thoughts on Captain America, Winter Soldier. So there they are. Go ahead and sound off there in the comments. What did you guys think of the movie? Did you guys enjoy the film? Did you not like it? Go ahead and sound off there in the comments. Also, what is your favorite Captain America movie in this series? Go ahead and sound off there in the comments. Um, Mike, thank you for having, uh, thank you for coming up, you know, coming aboard. Uh, I really appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. I was excited to talk about this movie and, of course, the other two movies that we're going to be talking about before Avengers Infinity War, which I'm obviously excited to talk about that one with you. So, yeah, thanks for having me again, Russell. No problem. And go ahead and tell the good people where they can find you since we didn't plug it enough times. <laughs> well, you can find me at uh, Married Movie Reviews on YouTube. Me and my wife do movie reviews and trailer breakdowns. And uh, you can also find me on Twitter, at Married Review. And, uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Thanks. All right, man. Uh, you guys watching this, go ahead and check his channel out. Him and his wife do a lot of good work. This guy's very passionate about movies. Um, so that does it for the show. We'll see you guys in Hollywood, guys. Go ahead and sound off in the comments. <laughs>